Hey, what's up everybody? Alright, so this is the video that is going to be, I guess we'll label it mail time for right now. Unless we come up with a better name, I'm, I'm open for suggestions. This is actually for November. I actually have one package here that was from back in October. And also another one that I've had for a while I wanted to add to an unboxing video. But this one right here came to me back in October. But anyways, I wanted to get this filmed last month. I've had some, uh, some difficulties health-wise that I couldn't get it done. But I wanted to go ahead and get this thing filmed now and get it out there for you guys. And anyone who sent anything, I want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Without you guys sending the things, this wouldn't be possible. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it, and we'll go ahead and open up our first box. I have opened this one and this one, but the rest of them I haven't opened, so they're going to be total surprises, so let's see what's up. All right, so here's our first package, and this actually came to me from a fella who has a YouTube channel. His name's Gabe Rilla. There's a link to him down in my description already, but I'm going to make a, a special section for this video of anyone who sent anything who has a YouTube channel where I'll have all the links right at the top. But uh, this fellow, I actually ended up meeting him through uh, Steve's links. I started talking to him. I've made friends with him. Uh, really great guy to know. Really enjoy talking with him. And he sent this along to me. I don't know what it is, but uh, it does have a, does have a liquid and glass. You guys go over and check his videos out, man. He's got He drinks like some of the oldest stuff I've ever seen and Steve actually sent him some boxes and he's got some old it's an old video or a few old videos where he actually got into some rations and stuff but I want to get into this and let's see what he sent along here it's taped up on this end and it's probably super super glued all right so okay all right, cool. Check that out. This is a Diet Pepsi. And for some reason, I want to say it's from 1976. But I'll definitely check into that. And I'm actually going to be trying out these old sodas that he sent along. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Okay, we got another one right here. And we got a note. Awesome. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks to be in fantastic condition. I don't see any weird floaties or anything in there. This is just a, uh, a regular old 7-Up, which the lid does look to have seen better days. It's uh, quite rusted. But the bottle and uh, what's in it looks really good. doesn't look to be very carbonated anymore. But I guess we get to find that out whenever I try it out. Definitely be adding this to a ration review. Um... Let's see. Sent a note along. He said, uh, hey, dude, hope this finds you well. Uh, thanks for being a chill dude and taking the time to be a cool friend, Gabe. Uh, like I said, man, really great guy that I ran across there. And like I said, the link was, he used to be called Sparrow Medicine. I should add that because in Steve's link, I think it still says Sparrow Medicine. But thanks a lot, Gabe. I really appreciate it. And be looking forward to these in a future video. Well, I'm, uh, I'm going to get this cleaned up and we'll get the next box up here. Alright, so the next box, this was actually sent along to me by K-Man, which is the creator of MREinfo.com. So if you guys haven't checked that website out, go check out MREinfo.com. There's some great people over there. There's uh, always good deals being posted over there in the buy-sell trade. But anyways, he actually sent this to me probably back in early July and I've wanted to get this into an unboxing video because he sent this along for my birthday and I thought it was really cool really cool of him to do and he sends a note along in here which I'll probably just keep this one private yep it was uh it was actually towards the end of July so he actually dated that but anyways I'm gonna get right into it I have opened this one already but Got a really cool casino played deck of cards. Thought that was really cool. Planet Hollywood. And then we have this really cool bottle opener, which I'm going to be able to put to use. That's awesome. Uh, it says drive carefully, come back soon. It's kind of like the Vegas sign up there. Well, this uh, says welcome to Las Vegas. 
very cool be able to use that on our new bottles back there and next we have a keychain here it's a casino chip pretty awesome also three magnets for the refrigerator or whatever that uh, different denominational chips and last but not least and I believe this is oh yeah nope I'm sorry I believe I don't know this it's a metal ashtray you know it's got the welcome to Las Vegas very cool I think that's just an awesome awesome ashtray so I'll probably uh, put that out here on the table and uh, anytime we have a vintage smoke we'll use that ashtray and also a welcome to Las Vegas leather lighter and if you can see that it's got a green flame to it so hopefully I wasn't off screen when I was showing the ashtray there I'll give you a better look at that it's got a really cool impression of the Vegas Strip down here uh, the, stat the Statue of Liberty, uh, the Space Needle, stuff like that. Really cool. Nice metal ashtray. So, thanks a lot, K-Man. I appreciate my birthday gift here, dude. Awesome. So, I wanted to get this in the unboxing video, and we're going to start putting some of this stuff to use. So, Alright, man. We'll move on to the next box now. Alright, so next we've got this uh, Manila envelope here. And I actually had to pay uh, 251 postage to get this one because whoever sent it didn't pay the postage on it. I don't know how you do that because I've never been able to send mail without actually having the postage paid. Usually they would send it back to sender, but it made it to me. So go ahead and uh, check this out. Cut it open. Let's see what we've got here. I actually don't know who this is from. Uh, it's just t.a.c.m so alright check it out um <laughs> I uh hmm well I don't know exactly what to say here um, so, I won't say anything. I appreciate the package. Uh, thanks again to, uh, TACM for sending that along. Alright, we'll move on to the next one. Alright, these next two come from a really cool guy that I've met on my YouTube channel. He has a YouTube channel as well, and his YouTube name is Fireman Food 1988 and I'm obviously going to put a link down in the description. You guys go check him out. Um... He was checking out some older MREs and rations and stuff there. I, I, he does a little bit of everything, like installing a wood stove. He's got some really cool older... I think they, he took them off a VHS tape where he was in the back of one of the fire trucks that you have to drive the rear end of it, which is pretty cool. I've never seen in the in the rear of one of them, and he takes you like on a ride along. Pretty cool. You guys go check out Fireman Food 1988. Fantastic guy. Man, I really couldn't... Have, I've made friends with him. I would call him a friend now. So, thanks, friend, for sending this along. And I want to see what you sent here. All right. Maybe we can get to it from here. Mm, yep, we can. All right. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Make sure that's everything. Wow. Okay, first thing I see are these Underbergs. We've actually, we were talking about these Underbergs, and he said that he swears by them. He thinks, uh, he thinks the world of them. It's after a good meal, uh, Underberg. Uh, to feel bright and alert. So, definitely, uh, I'll probably go ahead and uh, add these into a review, and we'll try them out. Nice little glass bottles. Um... 0.67 fluid ounce. Really neat little packaging though, the way they're wrapped up in the uh, in the brown paper there. Really cool. So <laughs> this is this is crazy. Um, reflections of time. We've got a Babe Ruth and a Mark McGuire card here. 
That's awesome. And uh, we've got another Mark McGuire checklist and a 1987 Barry Bonds. Which for some reason I think that that's his rookie year. There's actually two of those there. And a Jerry Rice. Man, these are all guys that I, I, I collected for years and years. Awesome stuff. And we also have a Bridgeford beef with barbecue sauce in bread. So that's awesome. Those things are always great to have. But uh, I, I'll be honest. I want to show you guys the reason I think uh, he's sending these along. If you guys have ever looked at one of my wide shots on my setup here, I'm going to pull the camera up. And walk you through this a little, just a little bit, real quick. Um, but for instance, right there, I've got my autographed Jose Canseco picture. Um, right next to it is an autographed Jose Canseco bat. I, I keep it in the plastic there. And then up here, I don't know if you can see that. It's a picture of Yogi Berra and Babe Ruth together, and it's autographed by Yogi Berra. PSA DNA. Um, I've got some sports memorabilia back there. Is my PSA DNA autographed Mickey Mantle. Um, while I'm spanned out here, if you guys really want to see all the stuff that I've got put up, man, I could make a video on it. You guys just let me know down in the comments if that's something that would even interest you. But setting back here is a ration that I've really been meaning to get to. That a Patreon supporter sent in. His name is Chris Johnston. He sent that along, and I really want to get to reviewing that. It's just a larger ration. Uh, I'm not going to do large rations right now. But yeah, man, if you guys want to check that stuff out sometime, just let me know. Um, let me get back to opening this next envelope here. Just going to go ahead and rip that right here. What do we have here? Hopefully this wasn't something that was time sensitive. Whoa, what in the world is that? That looks like a... That looks like an octopus. Um... <laughs> Ron, what are you doing to me here, buddy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was fun. That was, uh, that was definitely interesting. I'm not going to go any further by opening that up. Um... If that was time sensitive, maybe you could have told me, <laughs> uh, or maybe that you you intended on it being a good joke. So that if that was the intention, that's what it ended up being. So very cool, man. Um, I've got one other package from Fireman Food. I want to get it up here on the table now, and we'll check it out. It's actually the first one I received from him, but it's it's a doozy. All right, so here we go. This is actually an MRE case that he sent along. Um, try to get that to where you can see it. It was packed the 269th day of 1992. Inspection date was uh, 9 of 95. But let's go ahead and uh, get this thing opened up, and let me show you all what he sent along. So inside, you can see that. In the camera up here a little bit is a ton of MREs, and we have another Barry Bonds rookie card right here. We have a California Department of Forestry patch, which uh, Ron is a retired fireman, firefighter. All right, so he sent a letter along that says, Enjoy, my friend. Compliments of Fireman Food 1988. He says the old ones are from fire camp in Cabazoon, and he said uh, the fire was in December of that year, so I'm guessing like back in uh, the early 90s. Um, my first eight years on the job uh, were with CDF. Part two of his career was 22 years with the FFDSD, and he said sorry he couldn't find a patch for that one. <laughs> You've already done way too much. I mean, this is this is... I, I will definitely appreciate it. So let's go ahead and uh, pull these out and see what all... Oh, huh. almost missed this. I was wondering where this was at because I knew it was in there. And it's a rookie Mark McGuire card. Or, yeah, it's a rookie year. All right. 
so let's go ahead and we'll pull the newer ones first. All right, first one I'll pull out here is a Menu 8 Meatballs and Marinara Sauce. Let's see if I can find a date on there. I think he acquired all of these through his fire career. So I think these were at one point in the fire department as uh, their rations for when they were out. And we also have a Menu Number 9 Beef Stew. And this one does have a date code of 8341008. So so that should be pretty interesting coming from California out there. And here we have like some open extra components and stuff. Not going to go through them exactly, but you know, there's some extra stuff in there. It'll get eaten for sure. Now, on to the oldies. First one we come to is a menu number eight. Now, you notice, got the big menu numbers on the side right there, but we do know that these are 1992s. This first one is a menu number 8 ham slice with accessory packet A. So, we're definitely going to be reviewing uh, one or two of these here sometime soon, hopefully. Um, next one we come to is a menu number 7, beef stew, and that has all accessory packet A as well. Next, we have a menu number 12, Scallop Potatoes with Ham. And I actually had one from the 1991, whenever I was out in Doswell. This is the one that I pulled out of the case when we opened up the uh, very well-preserved case that we had out in Doswell. Next, we have a menu number 4, which is the Omelette with Ham. I may use one of these to uh, compare with the one that came from Alaska, just to see how they, they held up. This one from California, the other from Alaska, and see see if there's a big difference between the two, maybe. And next we have menu number three, chicken stew. Fantastic chicken stew is always a good menu. Comes with accessory packet B. And last but not least, we have another menu number four, omelet with ham. So... Two menu number fours in here. That means uh, there's freeze-dried fruit in these. The uh, oatmeal cookies, fantastic. These are awesome to be sending along. Definitely be checking them out. So look for these in the future. Thanks a lot, Fireman Food. You guys go check him out. I'll have a link down in the description. And I'm going to pack this up, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so last but not least, this is a package from Gundog. This is the first time I've ever gotten a package from Gundog, but uh, the way he conveyed it to me is a fellow named Delicious sent this along, and it was in one of Gundog's packages, and he just wanted to have Gundog forward it along to me. So thanks, Gundog, for uh, taking the time and money to send this along, and thank you very much, Delicious, for whatever's inside. There will be a link to both of their channels down in the description. Go check out Delicious's channel. Uh, he has come across some really rare rations so you guys go check him out and of course Gundog one of the veterans of ration reviews if you guys haven't heard of him you definitely got to go check him out so let's go ahead and get this thing cut open and see what we've got inside be careful here so that looks like a pretty familiar green color if I may say so myself. So first we'll go ahead and pull out the loose items. Looks like Gundog was filling up some space in there. Or maybe maybe Delicious sent these things along. Okay, the first things I come to in here. Uh, blah Band. Uh, I've seen that these guys make freeze-dried meals in the Norwegian Arctics. So that these must be Norwegian maybe. And I think these are actually drink mixes, if I'm not mistaken. 65 grams. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to ask Gundog about that and ask him exactly what these are. Next, we have two cans. And these, <laughs> these say liver pate, more or less. Um, I'm not a huge fan of liver either. I'm with Gundog on this one. But uh, we'll definitely check these out with the drinks sometime. Maybe uh, we'll do like an unboxing review of some of the things that have came in the uh, in mail time. A mail time review of some of the things that came in the mail. So next we have... Oh, here we go. Uh, Alright, so uh, down here in the bottom actually I see uh, we've got some Gundog stickers. MRE Killer. Got four of those. 
And we also have this postcard that says, uh, if I say go ahead, you drink. His drinking game card. Gun dog. All right, so the last thing in the box that I definitely know that Delicious sent along, and that is this Polish SRG Menu 7 dash one dos so seven dash one it's a srg seven this is a absolutely huge ration and i have really wanted one of these for a long time i had a couple that got robbed coming through customs uh, that just didn't make it so now we actually have one to do a review on best buy date here july 31st of 2018 so i'm really looking forward to getting into this thing and trying out this Polish food because the only Polish food I've tried were the uh, fire brigade rations which I still have two of those to review well that's all the packages that I have uh, for this mail time video if you guys want to send anything at all along something that uh, you might want to see me make a video out of at a later date something funny you think that would be funny for me to unbox um, like a, a dead octopus pressed in a uh, paper towel <coughs> fire and food <coughs> Anyways, if uh, if you have anything like that you want to send along, my address is down in the description. Feel free to send me anything along, a letter, anything, you know, uh, the cost of a stamp. Uh, you guys can also donate through Patreon, um, even just $1. That, that adds up if everybody donate a dollar. It'd really, really help out. I want to say thanks to my Patreon people. I always put a list of them at the end of my videos. Again, I'll have everyone's links down in the description. Everyone who sent something who has a YouTube channel wants a link. We got Fireman Food 1988. We got Gabe Rilla, both awesome guys that have became my friends. We have Delicious, who's the one that actually sent this along. You guys, he's found some really cool rare rations over the last year that I've seen him doing ration reviews. You guys go check him out. He's got a really cool YouTube channel. Uh, go ahead and give him a subscribe while you're over there. Heck. You just go ahead and subscribe to all the guys that I'm suggesting here because I'm sure they would love to have your support. Also, Gundog, if you guys ain't heard of Gundog, he is the uh, ration review veteran here of these, this mail time. So you guys go check Gundog out. If, if you haven't heard of Gundog, I, you know, his link's always down in my description. There will be another one this time. You guys go check him out. But I want to say anybody that sent something, I really appreciate it. You made this video possible. If you guys liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Go ahead and hit me up down in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. Turn the notifications on. Really appreciate it when you do that. But uh, this has been the Mail Time video. I want to say thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next Mail Time. Later.